Hey guys, welcome back to Stefo today we will talk about fastest cars. Speed has fascinated humankind for as long as people have been on the planet. From the invention of the wheel to supersonic aircraft, going more quickly means being able to do more things, more efficiently, while also offering advantages over those who must travel more slowly. Today you will find a comprehensive list of the quickest cars in the world, many of which CarWow has been lucky enough to drive. Number 10. Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute It'll come as no surprise that Koenigsegg has made this list twice, as they're very good at making bonkers hypercars. The Jesko Absolute gets a twin-turbocharged V8 with up Thousa's 1600th Smalm to Corvina Horsebar when it's running on E85 race fuel. You might be wondering why, with a claimed top speed of 310 miles per hour, the Jesko Absolute isn't at the top of this list. Well, Koenigsegg hasn't actually tested the top speed in real life, but instead has only simulated it using a computer. Number 9. Lamborghini Revuelto In a world of downsizing and forced induction, the lunatics at Lamborghini have stuck with a naturally aspirated V12 for its new flagship Revuelto. That's not to say it's completely unassisted, as you also get three electric motors to boost the power. Specifically, you get a combined 1,015 horsepower, more than any road-going Lamborghini ever made. 0 to 60 miles per hour is dealt with in 2.5 seconds, and it'll go on to a top speed of 217 miles per hour. Number 8. Pagani Huayra The Pagani Huayra is a fantastic-looking car. Every detail is exquisite, and it's more than just a pinup as well. It has an AMG-derived twin-turbocharged V12 engine, putting out 730 horsepower and 1,000 Nm of torque, enough for a top speed of 238 miles per hour. The Huayra is made mostly of carbon fiber to keep the weight down, as well as to make it more rigid, and it's covered in active aero to help it slip through the air more easily. Number 7. Aston Martin Valkyrie You may not think, based on appearances, that the Aston Martin Valkyrie is road legal. It might look like a full-blown Le Mans racer, but you can really drive it on the street. Mounted behind the driver is a 6.5-liter hybrid V12 with 1,160 horsepower capable of pushing this F1-inspired road racer from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds. Not really surprising when you realize that it weighs just over a ton. Number 6. Koenigsegg Regera Matching the speed tail is the Koenigsegg Regera. This Swedish speed machine comes with a twin-turbo V8 engine and an electric motor that produce a total of 1,500 horsepower. Unlike any other car on this list, the Regera can go from 0 to 250 miles per hour using just one gear. Yep, no matter if you're cruising at 30 miles per hour or aiming to hit its 250 mile hour top speed on a closed course, not the M1 you'll be in the same gear. Seems a little bonkers. Number 5. McLaren Speedtail McLaren didn't design the Speedtail to chase world records, but with a 250 miles per hour top speed, it's the fastest road car it has ever built. That's faster than its last three-seat car, the legendary McLaren F1. Its super slippery bodywork lacks and drag-inducing wings and means it looks like something ripped straight from a futuristic cyberpunk film. Just think about carrying two of your mates at that speed. Number 4. Rimac Nevera Electric cars offer instant acceleration thanks to the torque from their electric motors. However, the added weight of the batteries can limit them in terms of top speed. This isn't the case for the Rimac Nevera, though. This ballistic EV hypercar has four electric motors, producing a whopping 1,914 horsepower and 2,300 new meters of torque. That's enough to launch it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds, and it can go on to a top speed of 258 miles per hour. It's made almost entirely out of carbon fiber to keep the weight down. But this isn't just some stripped out drag racer. The interior is a lovely place to be and you still get all the luxuries you'd expect of a car that costs 2 million pounds. Number 3. Hennessy Venom F5 The folks in the USA are smashing the top speed game recently, with third place going to another all-American supercar. The Hennessy Venom F5 has a 6.6-liter twin-turbocharged V8 with 1,807 horsepower and 1,670 nanometers of torque. That's enough to launch it from near 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds, and it'll go on to a top speed of 272 miles per hour, for now. Hennessy wants to get even more out of the F5, with the firm targeting a top speed of over 300 miles per hour. Number 2. SSC Tuatara While the Bugatti Chiron's complicated W16 engine is mightily impressive, sometimes you just can't beat a whopping great V8 with a couple of turbos strapped to it. 
The SSC Tuatara has a twin turbocharged V8, which puts out up to 1,750 horsepower when it's running on ethanol. However, there is some controversy around the official top speed. You see, SSC claimed the Tuatara actually managed 360 miles per hour in October 2020 to make it the world's fastest car, but later admitted to a GPS error that depicted that speed wrongly. Number 1. Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300+. Plus. Those who grew up in the 2000s will probably associate the fastest car in the world with the legendary Bugatti Veyron. While that car's spirit has been carried over to the Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300+, plus, an 8.0-liter quad-turbocharged 1,600-horsepower mega machine, which will do, as the name suggests, over 300 miles per hour. Specifically, it did 304 miles per hour when the French firm unleashed it at Volkswagen's Era Lessian test track. The Chiron 300 Plus doesn't hold the official world record, though, as it only did the run in one direction. To break the record, you have to do it twice in opposite directions, which Bugatti decided not to do for some reason. It's crucial to remember that speed isn't everything. While these technological marvels hold significance, responsible driving and adhering to traffic regulations remain paramount for safety on the roads. If you amaze with this video, then like the video and subscribe our channel for more fascinating and interesting topics. Thanks for watching.